Now, being a geek site, we definitely have to ask, you were in Slayer with Linda Carter. What was yeah. it like working with Wonder Woman? Oh my god, she's my childhood hero. <laughs> I mean, she was so cute because I kept telling everyone how excited I was, right, when, when we got to set. I'm like, I can't believe it. Is she here? Is she here? Is she here? Because I, I, I'm such a dork, you know. And, and I kept saying, is she here? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? And everyone's like, God, Joy, she's not here. Relax, relax. And I'm like, God, I'm normally not a fan. You know, I'm no, normally not like this, like a fan person. But she's my childhood hero. I can't wait. And they told her that. And she was so adorable that she came to my trailer and... She came, she's like, I just wanted to meet you, and I wanted to thank you for being a fat. She was so sweet that it just exceeded my expectations of what she would be in real life. And then the next day, like a couple days later on set, she comes to the trailer, and she's like, I brought you something. And she brought me all these Wonder Woman pictures autographed, and I have them all framed in my office. Awesome. And then we took, she's like, but let's take one now in real life. She was so cute. I love her. I love her. She was my childhood hero, and now I just love her. That's great. So Yeah, she, she was awesome. I've heard you now describe yourself as a nerd and a dork. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> so, you know, that's great. I am. You, you, are, you are right up our alley. What, what would you say <laughs> is probably the geekiest thing about you? I mean, first of all, one geeky thing that I don't like about myself, but it's just me, I snort. <laughs> um, so if I laugh too hard, I, I try to control it, but sometimes I can't, so I, you know, I think that's the geekiest thing about me. Um, other than that, I, I don't know, I believe in everything, I believe in supernatural things, and people find that de dorky or geeky, so I, I, I think it's just a day-to-day -day thing. My husband calls me a dork all the time, he's like, baby, you're so dorky. I'm like, yeah, it's okay, that's how I grew up. <laughs> well, you're just being real. So. Yeah, of course. You don't, you know, why do you need to change? Yeah. I don't think I would never change me. Doesn't matter if I'm lucky enough to one day hopefully win an Oscar, which would be the biggest prize as an actor. Mm -hmm. I would never change. You know, there's no reason for people to change. You mm -hmm. got to keep the essence of who you are true to yourself and alive. And uh, I found out that yesterday you were just announced as the latest addition to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. No, I wasn't announced. There was a rumor about that. Oh, I thought I had read that, that, that. I knew there were rumors. I thought they finally confirmed it. They did? Well, I thought. I don't know. Did, did they? <laughs> <laughs> I said we weren't going to try to dig, but did they? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a great show. Um, I'm a fan of it. I watch it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great show. And there are rumors out there, so... I don't know. So who do you think would be the first casualty on that reality show? Who should be the first casualty <laughs> or who will be the first casualty? Yeah, I guess those two could be different, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would have to get to know them a little better. Mm -hmm. I do watch it, but, but I'm, not, you know, I'm not that invested in it. I watch it like as a guilty pleasure when I'm tired in bed. That's what I was going to ask. Reality shows a lot of times are people's guilty pleasure so which one is this um is beverly hills or desperate sorry mm -hmm. real housewives sorry you're um, like that's the housewives whatever they call it <laughs> <laughs> or is um our real housewives is that like your big guilty pleasure or is there one in particular that you're like i cannot miss an episode of this you know what there's none of them that i cannot not miss an episode i can miss those, those episodes it's not like like i have shows that i love like Drop Dead Diva or Revolution or, you know, there's certain shows that I love and I feel like, oh my God, I can't miss it. It has to be in my TiVo. Um, but the reality shows, if I miss it, I'm okay with missing it. But if I have it in the TiVo and I'm bored at night, it's an amazing guilty pleasure. I love uh, The Housewives and I also love The Kardashians. Uh, I, I like their fashion. My husband hates it. And he's just like, why do you have to watch these shows? I'm like, because I'm a girl, and that's what girls do. It's the guilty pleasure. And he's like, okay, whatever, just watch it when I'm dead asleep. And I'm like, okay. So, uh, but I know a lot of people out there, even if they don't admit it, they do watch them. You know, that's why the shows are so successful. That's why they have such a huge audience, because there's obviously people watching them. We watch a lot through the, um, through the lens of the soup. So 
getting a lot of clips from a lot of the shows a lot of times. So that's what my husband watches. God, my husband would watch you. He probably you probably have his same TiVo list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he loves the soup. He's like, why don't you just watch the recap? You don't need to watch the whole thing. I'm like, okay. Yeah, they show you the best <laughs> of the worst stuff. It's great. <laughs> yeah, our DVR list is probably way too long. We watch way too much television, but... We're adding another one, of course, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you have to add it. Add it today so you don't forget. Oh, it's already added, so don't worry. Oh, good. Thank you so much. So other than the possibility of the rumor of maybe Real Housewives, do you have any other uh, projects or appearances that we need to be uh, keeping an eye out for in the near future? Well, I do, a, I don't know if they told you, I do an international beauty pageant that I created, and it's called Queen of the Universe. If you want to look up the Sizzler and the pageant, it's queenuniversepageant.com, my, my website. Mm -hmm. But you have to put pageant, because if you just do Queen Universe, I think it's a transgender one. <laughs> um, mine is queenuniversepageant.com. Be very so, careful. Huh? Be very careful when you're typing it I in. know, be very careful. Some of my girls were like, um, am I going to be competing with men? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. There's sorry. a snort. We got the snort. <laughs> sorry. So, so it's, um, I, I produced this pageant, and um, right now I'm working on it. I, we just did it, January 27th, with our premiere gala. And it's a total different pageant that I made because uh, with my pageant background, I pageants gave me the opportunity to have a platform to get to where I am today. Um, and I don't think, had it been for the pageants, I wouldn't have traveled the world and known the world and had those opportunities and be where I am. And I'm very grateful to the pageants. And I, I want other girls that, like me, have dreams and aspirations and I want them to have a platform to be able to do whatever they want to do. My pageant is a charity-based uh, pageant. It's for UNESCO. UNESCO is the United Nations Education, Science, and Culture Organization. And what we do is we build kindergartens around the world. Okay. And my mother-in-law has built over 400 kindergartens, and I want to continue her legacy. So I said, what can I do? And that's how I created Queen of the Universe. And this year I had 57 girls from around the world. Miss Spain is my current queen. Um, and it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful event. And the, the difference from other pageants to Queen of the Universe is that in my pageant, girls can be married, single, divorced, if they want to be lesbian, whatever they are, whatever decisions they make in life. Because I don't think women should be judged by their gender preference or if they had a child or not or if they got married and got out and, and they had, had a divorce. You know, women should not be judge because of the choices they make, I think any woman can represent their country. And, and for example, a girl that got pregnant at 16 or 17 or 18, whatever, that's not a mistake. There's no mistakes in life. Yes, we wouldn't like that to happen, but there's no mistakes in life. I think that a child is a blessing. It's not something that a woman should think that is holding her back um, from living her life. So, so that's why I created Queen of the Universe, and, and that's something that occupies a lot of my time and I'm doing now. Besides that, we're in pre-production um, for a couple features, and we're in pre-production for another TV show. Uh, so, so you're a, little a busy bit woman. Busy. Huh? You're a busy woman. A little busy, a little busy. And besides that, I have my two munchkins, so... Now, you said that you, um, with the pageant that you guys are doing a lot with charity work, is, is there some way if people, if like our readers wanted to donate or anything to kind of help the causes, is there, is there any way that they can do that? Yes. Yes, there is. They can go to UNESCO Foundation for Children in Need, um, and they can donate directly there Great. to UNESCO. And if they want to donate to the pageant, they can go to queenuniversepageant.com and just press on the contact us. Um, but everything we raise goes to UNESCO. So if, whether they want to give it to us and we give them a receipt and we give it to UNESCO or they want to give it straight to UNESCO, the UNESCO offices are in Europe, so sometimes it's difficult for them to, you know, to give in Europe. Um, but whatever is easier for them, they can do. Well, like we said, you know, throughout this, we really love the pilot and we're definitely going to be checking out the future episodes of Siberia, and which is debuting this Monday. Um, yeah. But we just thank you so much for taking time to speak with us and share a little bit about yourself and the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thanks for supporting and thanks for watching it. And please continue to watch it. Absolutely. We thank you very will. much, Joyce.